Well, Corin, what a win for you. Probably one of the best year, wins of your career, I'm guessing. 6-5 over Judd Trump this afternoon to reach the final. How are you feeling after that one? Yeah, just still buzzing now. You know, a good good two hours later. Um, at 5-2, I just thought to myself, you know, I'm, I'm almost like a dead man. I've just got to flip him, throw everything at him. And, you know, I just, just wanted to play a little bit more aggressive. Um, the ball started going in. I started making a few more breaks and the confidence came then. And, yeah, to come back here in the semi-finals and get into the final that way is just unbelievable. The impressive thing, in my view, is often when you see a player come from 5-2 down to 5 all, the pressure goes back onto him. But you just seem to continue in the same vein in the last frame and made a fantastic break. Yeah, I think if I'd have got to 5 all by winning scrappy frames and twitching along the way, I'd have probably had a different mindset. But because I'd won it so comfortably and scored very heavily, I felt like my game was there. So, you know, I just had to tell myself, it's just another frame. My game's there, just rely on my technique and... You know, that's what I did. I managed to win it in one visit. You'd never won a match in the Masters coming into the tournament this week, so to be in the final is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, only my second time here, so to have a final on my belt already is, is unbelievable. And, you know, it's what dreams are made of, playing in a, in a final in a venue like this. Now we're going to talk about a shot you played at a crucial moment in the match. Uh, probably most of the players on the tour, I would say, might have just rolled up behind the yellow here, but talk us through the shot that you played. Yeah, I, I played a really good long red landed awkward on the yellow um, and to be honest I just thought I don't want to trickle up behind it because if I come off one cushion into the reds leave that option for Judd sorry he's just going to you know it's going to be too easy so I just thought I wanted to be aggressive if I come off two cushions I'm going to have the red into the middle and two two reds into the corner so I was always going to have options but had to make sure the yellow and how do you play this shot is it just top spin or was there a bit of side on it as well uh, just top spin. Um, I don't want to force it too much because I'm going close to the middle pocket. Just pure top spin, two cushions, and give myself loads of options on the reds. Right, well, let's have a go. I'm just going to emphasise Kyron's not playing with his own cue here, so he's got an excuse if he gets it wrong, but it's let's have a go. Let's, let's have one more go at that because he can't miss it by that far again. the queue it's definitely the queue <laughs> you're not going to use that queue tomorrow in the final are you oh, i don't know i think it'd be quite entertaining <laughs> and just finally looking ahead to tomorrow either mark allen or, or john higgins i mean it's just going to be a great occasion for you isn't it yeah it's obviously what i dreamed of i wanted to be in you know one of these big major finals you've got the masters of uk and the world this one just feels very unique very special you have the best 16 in the world and to be one of the last two standing is unbelievable great well done car good luck tomorrow